Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today is episode number 10 of our Golf Weekly News Show called The Drive. Alright, we had another exciting week over in Asia, the second of the third, third tournament they're going to have over there in Asia, the CJ Cup, and this was a long hitter's golf course, had to be a ball striker, and guess who wins? Brooks Kepka has a 21 under par to win over Gary Woodland who is another long hitter he's a great ball striker he was at 17 under and also Jason Day was close by I think he finished 12 under in the tournament uh, this was at the club at Nine Bridges in South Korea uh, a lot of top names at this golf course Justin Thomas uh, we had a lot of big time players they loved this golf course great golf course um, respected by all the PGA Tour players and the European players. So what a what an interesting turn. If you hadn't, go look it up on the internet. You can look at the pictures of it. The course looks phenomenal. It's like one you may want to play if you're ever over in that neck of the woods. Also, breaking news. Uh, it just seems like this guy just keeps cranking out <laughs> tournament wins after tournament wins. Bernhard Langer wins his 38th Champions Tour victory. He's second all-time behind Hell Irwin with 45. But this guy, he's showing no signs of uh, stopping. I mean, he's 61 and is in great shape. Still one of the best ball strikers out there. Can putt the ball. Great chipper. There's no weaknesses in this guy's game. He has no desire to stop anytime soon. Uh, he has said that he's going to play until, well, he'll know when he knows. He'll know when he needs to stop is what he said. So he is still cranking them out. Um, He's already won four Charles Schwab Cups, and he's going for his number five this year. And another thing I didn't realize until so I was looking at it, uh, he's had a hundred and 111 tour wins worldwide. I mean, that's just a great feat. I mean, this guy's overcome the putting yips several times in his career. I mean, most people would have packed it in, said the heck with it. This is just too hard, but he came up with his own style. I mean, I remember he used to hold his left arm with his right arm. He was one of the first long putters out there. He used to, to anchor it in his chest. So he's an innovator in the game, do whatever it takes to get the putting stroke right, and he's made it work. I saw him personally, uh, that's two or three years ago, out at the father's son with his son, and he's just a class act. My two sons were getting autographs from, from him, and he's just a role model class act for our game he's just a great person for us to have out there on the tour so congratulations to him and we'll look forward to seeing him in the winner's circle some more he i think he's going to beat hell Irwin's record eventually i mean that's seven more but he if he stays healthy i think he, he may do it all right i got a great quote this week i want to read it success isn't always about greatness it's about consistency Consistent hard work gains success, greatness will come. Okay, that was by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And this is very true in everything we do, whether it's working out, whether it's your diet, whether it's your work or golf, and we're talking about golf, uh, most people make changes and won't stick with it. They're on to the next thing, what they heard on Golf Channel or Golf Digest or what their buddy gave them a tip, a quick fix. You know, a lot of times it's about being consistent and working on something for a while. And a lot of times you just don't get the results you want right off the bat. But if you stay with it and know it's the right thing to do, do the work every day, come back the next day, do the work again, and then do it again. And then I uh, enjoy the process. It will eventually come. But you got to enjoy that process is the main thing I'm seeing with people. You just it's not just going to happen. It's not always going to be easy, and most times it's not easy when it's the right thing to do. But if you keep at it, uh, good things will happen. So just know that. I know you've heard it before, but it is so true. There's no quick fixes or get rich quick. There's, there's I, I haven't seen it. Um, you can prove me wrong, but I, I think the hard work is what uh, you know is what it takes to get good at anything. All right. Moving right along, I want to go right, that's going to kind of lead right into my uh, rant. My rant this week is about hard work. Uh, kind of what we were just talking about with that quote. You know, I've taught golf for over 20 years and, you know, I got people that they just want it. They want it right now. They want it yesterday. They don't want to put the work in. 
and then they whine and complain to me about why I don't, they don't have it. And also, I've, I've actually owned some gyms the last eight years, and uh, same thing with that. There's no different. People want to lose the weight or get in shape, and they don't want to put the work in. And they may give you a couple weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and if they're not seeing the immediate result, they're complaining, whining, why, why am I not getting it? And it takes hard work to get anything that's going to be worthwhile, and you have to have a paradigm shift in your head about, all right, it's not just going to happen overnight. I have to set some new things, goals to make this happen on a golf swing. You know, a lot of times it takes nine, nine months to two years to totally change a golf swing and create the habits you want if you've been doing it for a long time. That's why I love teaching junior golfers because if we get them when they're new, they have no habits and we can start them off the right way and, and develop those fundamentals and skills without developing the bad habits. But if you have bad habits, it's going to take a while and it's going to take some hard work and there is no band-aid. You're going to have to put some work in. So, and then, you know, then there's also the kids, you know, today, I shouldn't just say kids, but juniors, they, they want it. They think that if they do put the hard work in, there's this mentality of, I deserve it. You know, I deserve it because I've been practicing two, three hours a day for the last month. Well, that's just not the case. I mean, it, hey, great. You're doing something that is great work ethic, but it's, you don't deserve nothing. I mean, it's you're going to have to keep going, keep going, keep working at the right stuff, keep working at the right stuff, and then maybe it may happen, maybe not, but you don't deserve it. You know, so that mentality, you got to get that mentality out of there, and you got to enjoy the process, and nothing's owed to you. So that, that's just kind of my rant. Um, and uh, hopefully you understand what I'm saying. I mean, I've said it one time. I remember my teacher, that's back when I was in my early 20s, and I made some swing changes. I was like, man, playing these mini tour events, and I just think, I, I don't know why. I mean, the last three months I've been pounding balls and worn out a club face, and I just, I deserve this. I mean, I've been working out hard. I'm getting out here at 6.30 a.m., and I remember him looking at me and saying, Neil, you don't deserve nothing. What are you talking about? What kind of craziness are you talking about, man? You don't deserve nothing. You're lucky to be able to practice golf every day. What are you talking about? There's people out here digging ditches, and you're talking about you deserve this just because you're practicing three, four hours a day. I mean, you know, he put me in my place, and I am so glad he did put me in my place because you know what? He was right, and I got my determination and my mentality more correct, and uh, it, it was a lesson that I learned, and I, you know, you just see that with a lot of people, and I just want to pass that along. All right, my rave this week. I tell you what, I'm gonna turn it all the way around from what we were just talking about. There are a lot of impressive junior golfers out there that in this day and age, it's a different world than when I grew up. And I mean, the, the, the schoolwork, the pressure they have, AP classes, trying to get into college, the SAT, uh, dealing with all the social media and the computers, it is, and to be able to go out there and play and keep do all these things and do them successful to you guys I my hats off it is a totally different world these days and I'm seeing a lot of kids handle this pressure really 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 well and uh, I, I know it's a lot different world and I'm, I'm impressed at how well you got a lot of kids with some great values in the golf game I've seen and they're giving back they're helping out with junior camps and doing community service that's the thing I see with these ki kids too like going to school they have to have so many hours 100 150 hours of community service and wow this is impressive that they have to do that that really develops their character giving back to the community uh, it keeps them humble and it ultimately makes them a better person but there's a lot on their plate so uh, just a shout out to all you kids out there doing the right things all the stuff you're doing I am impressed all right lastly speed trap that's my product review I want to go over a teaching aid I've written some blogs on and I did a vlog on it. I am really impressed with this. Eyeline Golf makes this product. As you can see here, it's got four pegs and it helps with your swing path. It's got a line to take it back straight back the first 12 to 18 inches. It's got three areas where you can hit. Um, you got the, the hitting area, the chipping, and the pitching area. And then uh, it's just incredible as far as helping you get the right path. And also it helps you trap the ball um, if you come down and you're not you can have the right path but if you dip your shoulder 
and you're not, your hands aren't ahead and your weight's not going into your lead foot, you will hit that plexiglass and you will know. So to do it all right, have the right path and not hit the pegs and not to hit the board, you have to trap the ball and have the correct path. It's just a great tool and it's great for practice and it lets you know where you stand. And it's also great for your chipping. A lot of people try to scoop it, lift it, lean back when they're chipping and this tool will not let you do that. So it's very, fairly inexpensive. And uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I highly recommend it. It's, it's, it's easy to store. It's just a great little teaching aid that I use. I've been using it for myself and, and my swing and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It's a good visual. So check it out. Um, for other interesting stuff on my website, go to barnhillgolf.com and I look forward to seeing you soon.